What's going on guys, Mr. Domo here, back at it again with another action figure review and you know me just walking around Walmart, you know I was looking for that NECA Super Shredder and of course I didn't find it, but I did end up finding these two right here, uh, He-Man and Skeletor from Mattel's uh, Masters of the Universe and this is of course uh, the Masters of the Universe Origins, uh, you know, toy line that is kind of paying that uh, tribute to the original uh, He-Man action figures and these things look amazing i love the card back it looks really awesome really dope just like uh the original uh back in the 80s how you know he-man and and all the uh, master of the universe characters released in and they also come with their own uh comic and of course these things are going like hotcakes man I, I i usually go to a walmart out in the boonies because i have better luck out there uh the walmarts you know in the big cities just i don't get that much of a good luck there when i'm trying to find figures uh just because you know uh, there's a lot of collectors and then they pretty much bun rush the 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 walmart and then everything gets sold out but i was fortunately to find these two and these guys look amazing uh, i did bring out my original he-man uh that's uh graded by collector archive services so i kind of want to do a, a little bit of a you know comparison there but these are really awesome they do have their accessories in the back and they also have their uh their mini comic book here as you can see includes the comic book that art man that looks really really dope uh and then of course you know they do have their kind of swinging uh action i would say they're 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 swinging arm motion there uh these are the first waves that are uh coming out i know uh they already made an announcement for the second wave which is really awesome and of course uh i think right now the battle cat and the i want to say the slay the sky slay i believe that's what it's called sky slay uh that's that's out now but I didn't find those either so but uh, really awesome to get these two so what I'm gonna do is go ahead open these guys up and then that way we could check out these awesome action figures so I'll be right back all right guys so there they are both out of the package and uh, you know they look amazing uh, first of all uh, getting them out of the package I mean it's really a, a, a like a true resemblance of the original one uh, like I said I do have the original one here that I'll show you in a minute but uh, let me just go over these guys first so uh, let me start with the mini comic here so this is interesting so they both have the same mini comic so uh, Skeletor's comic is pretty much the same as uh, He-Man's comic and so here we go here's the uh, the cover page right here it's got that nice modern kind of uh, illustration of He-Man there uh, so very very cool and then of course it's pretty much just a short comic of just Prince Adam you know uh, getting am ambushed by the you know Skeletor and his team and then he turns into He-Man and then he kicks him butt so it's it's super short and uh, it's not really like an origin story and anything like that. And then, of course, on the back here, you do have the the, the first or the first six, I guess you want to say, or wave one of the figures that are out uh, right now for release. And I, like I said, I think they mentioned that wave two is uh, is coming out soon, so I think you can pre-order those. Uh, so let me start out with He-Man here. Uh, he's got the most accessories here. He's actually got one extra one. So uh, here's He-Man. Uh, he does have his uh, his shield there. He's got his uh, power sword, and of course he's got his battle axe. Uh, really nice, super clean. Uh, no like errors. It's really tight, which is nice. And then of course, let me show you the shield first. So you do get this nice shield. It's got a little clamp here, so you can just clamp it on to his uh, forearms and then he's got the handle so the the shield is pretty much one solid uh, piece and then they just paint it over uh the, the little design right here and then that's the inside of the shield so uh definitely i've noticed that right off the bat like these 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 uh accessories are a little bit lighter than than uh to the original one that's for sure uh so there is his uh power sword and of course, you know, there it is right there, uh, which is interesting on the other side, it's got these like pegs right here. So I wonder if that's gonna play into maybe some of the uh, the vehicles or anything like that. So that's pretty interesting, but there is some peg holes right there, or some pegs, excuse me, uh, to probably insert somewhere. But there's the power sword. And of course you do have the uh, battle ax and here you got a little holster so you can holster the sword, uh, you can holster the, the, the shield with the sword in it, or you could just do the battle axe and here's the battle axe uh, again a little bit lighter uh, not as much detail as the original one I think the original one just really had all kinds of details and I'll, I'll show you that in a minute uh, and then he, of course the other accessories I, I really don't count this as an accessory but you can take off his harness uh, which is really easy so as you can see right there there's a little buckle you unsnap it and then you 
could go ahead and take off the harness so not a problem uh, you can go ahead and do that and then you just snap it back on so really cool now for the articulation the paint's really good I, I, it looks really really awesome I love the the, the face scope uh, the head and everything like that face paint looks really good uh, articulation is way better of course uh, one thing with the head though he can't look down this is as furthest down as he can look but he could definitely look up and of course side to side is not an issue uh, shoulders are in a nice ball joint so that's really really cool so you do get some good mo uh, movements there and then down at the um, elbow you do get another joint there and then of course it rotates and then at the hands you do have a nice uh, ball joint there so that is really really cool now I, I so excuse me I thought that he could do some kind of battle action but you could put him into battle poses and so I thought that if you swing him off he would kind of like swing back whatever but he does not do that uh, he just has that nice waist rotation which actually goes all the way around uh, so and very interesting and then of course down at the legs he has another ball joint there he does have a knee joint and then of course uh, he does have a nice uh, rotation kind of like at the calf area and then at the ankle he does have another uh, ball joint there so articulation is really good with this guy uh, of course you don't get interchangeable hands it's pretty much just like the original one you just had one hand that was signed like open and then you had one holding hand so that's pretty much what you got just like the original one but still i mean this is a pretty cool figure i gotta say so it looks really really nice uh it's gonna look really cool displaying this guy so skeletor here articulation is pretty much the same uh the sword of course he's got that dark purple color so there's his sword uh this one does have these two interesting kind of peg holes so I, I'm, I'm very interested to see what what's going on uh for these accessories and then of course his ram staff uh uh, really nice good details there so look at that just like the original one it is a little bit uh benty but of course that's not a problem uh these saw so these pieces are kind of solid so uh they do have some play to them but most likely they're 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 not as soft as as other accessories and then of course with this guy here he does have his uh his harness and he does have four points of contact uh like connections four points of connection to his harness so you got these two and then the other um I guess the straps you know to take off his harness so it's really easy but you do have to take you know most of these off I, you probably could fandangle it a little bit uh but overall i mean this guy looks pretty dope pretty nice he does have the same articulation and there's the face really nice so pretty cool these guys look really really awesome and i i, I man like I said, I, I can see why these guys are selling like hotcakes. Uh, so let me just put that guy away over there. And so let me bring out the uh, original uh, 1982, I think it's, yeah, 1982 uh, He-Man. And of course, here uh, is the one that's graded by Collector Archive Services. And of course, as you can see, like there's lots of details into the, um, the battle axe. Uh, the sword is somewhat the same and then of course the shield is it's it's actually two pieces so um, there is a, a piece of cardboard that is like like that reddish orange color and then it's tied into the plastic piece of the shield so that's pretty interesting uh, and then here you do have the uh, the comic book of course you know look at that that looks really really nice and at this comic book I actually did got, I, I was able to actually you know look into it and stuff like that it, it's actually the origin of he-man so that's a nice little story um so that is pretty pretty cool and of course on the back you do have kind of like the uh the figures the play set and of course the creatures that came out during that time frame and of course uh they were all you know stamped on them these this is this is a uh, a taiwan uh so these guys he-man was kind of released you know worldwide and there you can see that little piece of cardboard so it was actually two pieces and then the cardboard's inside so pretty interesting but all the accessories do have a country of origin uh, and I'll show you the label here so this is a 1982 Mattel He-Man Masters of the Universe series one with the comic book He-Man uh, this one received a really great score 85 so as you can see really really nice and then he does have that squishy head so he's got a soft head so you can squish his head uh, but really cool and like I said man they're, they're really uh, you know they're playing 
into the, the, the true original right there, obviously with just minor updates, but I think it looks great, man. I think it's it's a nice welcome. I love the, the extra articulation on these guys. Uh, I think it looks really, really good. So as you can see, comparing them, and then he's definitely a lot brighter. The colors, you know, it's more saturated with colors, so it looks really, really good. Uh, like I said, I, I just wish they would have done a little bit more with the details, but I mean, overall i think i think these guys are amazing so but i just wanted to share this recent pickup man like i said i i jumped on it because i i just saw it and and i know like it's man it's hard to find them right now but that's pretty much it guys uh thanks for watching thank you for the support and i will definitely talk to you in the next video